Well, security in New York High is in advance this Thursday's Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. As reporter Ida Siegel reports, police are preparing for the crowds and a potential for an emergency. Macy's Herald Square surrounded by the NYPD, a show of force ahead of this week's parade. Kate Vallejo, for one, is happy to see them here. Her daughter, Jillian, is a cheerleader performing in the parade, but she says she's not afraid. And I can be an overprotective mother, so if I can get over it, I feel like a lot of people can get over it because I am a mama bear. You, you like seeing the heavily armed officers. I love it. I took a picture and put it on Instagram. Officials say police have their eyes opened and, as always, encourage folks on the street to do the same, which is what we did when we saw this black backpack left unattended on Broadway. I alerted officers on the corner and they inspected. Turns out the bag was full of trash, possibly left by a homeless person. But it's that kind of vigilance that gives officials the confidence to say this. We encourage Americans as the holiday season approaches to continue to travel, to associate, to go to public events, to go to public places. Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson in New York for this long planned terror drill in the subway. Please don't make, please don't make Multiple agencies simulated this Paris style attack. Victims bleeding on the street, people calling for help on the subway platform. First responders had to approach as if this were the real thing. These exercises are vitally necessary, particularly in light of all that's going on in the world at this particular point in time. We know of no specific credible threat of a Paris-like attack directed against the U.S. homeland. We are and we continue to be and we have been concerned about copycat-like attacks. Thank you, Ida. Well, remember, NBC5 is your place for live coverage of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade this Thursday morning.